This valedictorian with a near-perfect SAT score got rejected from every single top university that he applied to. Let's take a look at his application and see what happened. I mentioned he had a 4.82 GPA, which put him as valedictorian out of 300 kids and had a 1570 SAT score. As for his extracurriculars, he was a gymnast for 13 years, state and regional champion a few times, and concert band since fourth grade, was part of the honor societies, and did some tutoring. Here were the universities that he applied to. As for his results, he was rejected from UMish, CMU, and had a conditional acceptance to UMD, but was rejected everywhere else. He says here, let me serve as an example to people whose parents and guidance counselors told them that a high GPA and a test scores are enough to get in anywhere. Do not write your essays the week of and make sure you get involved with things related to your intended major if you have access at your school. A lot of people have the misconception that if you have great grades and a great GPA, you automatically get accepted to one of these type universities. Maybe you're one of those people that thinks those things. Maybe you think the valedictorian with a 1590 SAT score at your school is destined to get into one of these top universities. Harvard probably, right? I was that guy. I was the valedictorian with a 1590 that... You got into Duke, but I didn't get into my ED school and it was, it was not the nicest feeling. But here's the other thing, right? If you have the ability to get a 1570 SAT score and the diligence to be valedictorian out of your class, then you'll be successful no matter what you do. Just a lesson for you all.